All right, that recording started so fast this time. Tales of Arise. Uh, this go around might be the last in my mind. Uh, I've got quite a good bit of progress. I've done a lot of good stuff with it. I'm excited. I'm happy. Last time I got a quick little look at a lot of bad stuff going on with them thorns. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Part like. 17, I think. I think part 17. Let's see if it is the final one. Soon, we might very well learn the truth behind Shion's thorns. Oh yeah, right. my own past, I have to be ready to face anything. Whatever happens. I just need a little... So, I forgot I did that last time. Um, is there a teleport spot in here? There is not. Oh my god, you need to go through all of that? Yeah, no, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I don't I don't need any more things. Yeah, get me out of here. Alright, let's do it, baby! Let's do it! What do we got? What do we got? Ugh, come on, baby! How big is the region? So there's something right there. There's a bunch of stuff over here, and there's stuff over there. It might suck me into a cutscene and make me Hold go. Up, yep. What is it? I want to look through that room over there. I'm curious what we'll find. That's the room you visited in your past, right? Sure. We can check it out. There's probably going to be an awful lot of like cutscene stuff. <laughs> I I would imagine. This looks like some kind of research facility. Probably. A laboratory secreted away in the Forbidden Zone. Why am I past being surprised at this point? Looks pretty deserted. Let's check it out. It might give us a new lead. Okay. For the people of Lenegas, the Forbidden Zone is the stuff of dreams. Yet here I am, standing within its hallowed halls. It's off limits even for lords, then? Talk about an exclusive club. Being exclusive is one thing, but how many important facilities let in only the Sovereign? Doesn't that seem a little strange? Strange doesn't cover it. If it was only one room, maybe. But a place on this scale? How do they keep it from falling into ruin? Whoever the Sovereign is, they can't manage the upkeep of this whole place themselves. Did no one ever talk about it when you were growing up? No, not that I can remember. Then again, sovereigns and forbidden zones weren't exactly breakfast table conversations. The forbidden zone is a hallowed place, at one with the sovereign's authority, grounds of the one true ruler who presides over all Renans. That is what we believed this place to be. No, what we were made to believe it was. But now, it is finally time to discover this area's true purpose. <sighs> And why it was kept hidden behind the scenes for so long. Okay. What kinds of knickknacks might be hidden? Doesn't look like any. Hang on, hang on. An operating table. Er, wow. <laughs> An operating table. Many subjects undoubtedly never came back alive from their operations on this. It might have me go back the other direction. Oh. It's showing this room's equipment. It hasn't been used in a long time. Hmm. I think I can make this work. Well... Can you make head or tail of it? These are experiment records, by the looks of it. Reams of them, dating back hundreds of years. A composite being capable of controlling Danon astral energy, so as to convert its molecular and elemental makeup. The creation of a governing central figure, taking the form of a Danon. Codename Sovereign. Sovereign? Wait, there's more. Research into utilizing force field crystals for the purpose of stable astral energy containment. 
That must be the master course. The first this part, data, though. There's bound to be records here somewhere about the Maiden and the Lords, too. About the Lords? Why would they be on there? Think about it. The Lord's crests are clearly of a piece with those of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. Not to mention the fact that the contenders to the Crown are selected from otherwise regular Renan citizens. In other words, it may be that all Renans are unwittingly being made subject to some kind of... grand scheme. What about the Sovereign? Does it say anything else? Where do I start? All I've read so far is the headlines. There's so much here. To sift through all of it would require specialized... Wait. What is it? Did you find something? It's a list of names. I need a trim. With the title, Test Subjects, Sovereign. It's your call. Read it. There must be dozens of test subjects listed here. Hundreds even. All of them failures. Wait. I think I've found one that was successful. I would assume... Yo. Test subject number 1273. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name, Alphen. <sighs> we expected that. That's not a surprise. We knew this. Why was that like, Faithfully no way? engineered me. Right here in this lab. Okay, that actually is a little bit more fair. Sure, fine. I assumed that we already knew all the information about stuff here. <laughs> it's fine, really. What about the others? Was I the only one? I don't think it meant clones. Test I think it's talking about literally getting him. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name. Unless. Volron. That is supposed to be a Volron? direct clone <laughs> of him, in which case I am. She's only sovereign because someone made him that way, too. I don't think that's He's the case. The I don't think they're clone things. In three centuries worth of records, you and Volron are the only two subjects on whom the experiment was a success. I'll say, hey, Daryl, how you doing? <laughs> but what about the winners of the crown contests? Does this mean that none of them were ever crowned sovereign after all? <sighs> Upon victory, the Sovereign shall return to Rena and rule over Rena and Lenigus combined. When a new Sovereign is decided, the outgoing monarch shall relinquish their post and live out the rest of their days on Rena. So we were told. But according to these records, there have only ever been two Sovereigns, neither of whom had anything to do with the Crown Contest. It's all lies, including the part about the Sovereign residing in Rena. Called it. The crown contest was never about deciding a new ruler. It must always have been devised for some other purpose. It does defeat my original thought, though, a little bit, I think. But even supposing that's true, someone must have been in charge for the past three centuries, right? If it wasn't the sovereign, then who was it? Crown contests have been held this whole time, in spite of the fact that there was already a sovereign. Me. Meaning that for the past 300 years, Someone out there has to have been maintaining that lie. The same person I'm willing to bet is behind all this. The Red Woman? It's possible. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's the mastermind behind this scheme. She could be working for someone else. Someone back on the Renan homeworld. Either way... It's fair to say she's definitely involved somehow. What about the data records? Is there no other information that could help us? Not that I can see. Just file upon file of experiment results. There's nothing here about who's behind all this, or what their endgame is, unfortunately. I've barely managed to scratch the surface, mind you. You won't be able to read through it all, but you're welcome to take a look through what you can while we're here. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a gander. I'll Don't give it that. one gander. And I'll also give it one second to blow my nuts. So this is where Alfin became the Sovereign. And Volron as well. 
The significance of this location would suggest... Hey, it looks like the terminals in here turned on too. We should look through them. They might contain valuable information. Hey, top. How you doing? Only two sovereigns in over 300 years. So why has the experiment only succeeded Fuck. twice in all this time? And if that's the case, why keep on doing it? Was there really no other way? Or could there be some other reason? Dohalim. <sighs> Forgive me. Alfin. <sighs> I'm fine. I'm just a little shaken, that's all. I knew what I was already. And to see it again. So it's not like it's a surprise or anything. But it's strange. I've got all this rage inside of me, but I don't even know who it's for. I'm scared that I'll put a face to it. Just to have someone to blame. If that were to happen, then I'd tell me to leave. No. Then we'd help you fight it. Before you ever got that far. <sighs> Wouldn't we, everyone? Yeah. We wouldn't just sit by and watch you spiral out of control. That's right. No good can come from being consumed by hatred. If you ever start to lose your way, you can count on us to guide you back. And I would be happy to lend an attentive ear, should you ever have need. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. I think I'll be okay now. Alright, let's see. I mean, maybe a little bit, yeah. <laughs> maybe a little. I guess I can kind of see it. <laughs> it. It's a little, a little like it. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, they let me go and look at all the things. Sovereign. Uh, Lanigus is central control device for the spirit channeling ceremony. Each one is granted level two authority and an ID crest. Uh, not a chance. That's too much. Just to get it out of the way. Good lord. I would be here forever. Just pretend that that's not a thing. I think, don't, I guess don't confirm it, but I think I am nearing the end. Um. Okay, so that's a thing that happened. That was the wedge. Got it. Uh, sedative mask. Oh, oh, hey, that's neat. Uh, merging the right. Cool, interesting. Got it. 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 Fuck. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I was wondering why this would be uh, all structured out. This is just where I was before. <laughs> so it was used for those, like, flashback scenes. Uh... Okay, cool. Cool. Fascinating. Any knickknacks in here? I think this was my jail cell? Yeah, or my room, I guess. Ooh, that's big. Every room unchanged over three centuries. It's like time itself has stopped here. Another, yup. All right, what do we got? What do we got, baby, what do we got? Pop. 
Am I naked? Am I naked? <laughs> they better show us full cock. <laughs> Mayori, I... Oh, never mind. I... Don't talk. I have to do this. I gave you my word that I'd help you return to Dana. The next time you open your eyes, you'll be home. <laughs> you don't want but it to remember. You... My place is here with my people. I still have a duty to fulfill. I'm sorry for what you've endured. Renan never should have dragged you into this. It's not your burden to bear. But... The mask contains a sedative. It should keep your mind from tearing itself apart any further. Let yourself go to sleep. This should help with the pain. Time to go, Elfin. Farewell. His injuries are worse than I thought. Short-term treatment isn't going to cut it. I'll have to switch the healing pod to long-term hibernation mode. The chance of surviving hibernation's less than 10%? And worse, long-term use of the mask carries a high risk of damaging his mind and nervous system. But... Ugh. Lenigus will be nothing but ashes, and this starship along with it. I don't know if I can fulfill my promise to you, Alfin. But if... If doing this will grant you even the slightest chance, I have to try. Yeah, I feel like some of that would have been good to know prior, but I suppose she couldn't have known in I some hope it's capacity. Enough. Live for me, Alfin. And we don't know. We assume that she's dead. <sighs> it's been 300 years. <laughs> that vision. It must have been from when Naori helped Alfin escape Lenigus. I feel like we don't... I, I feel like I don't see the same fucking thing that the characters see. Do they only get, like splinters of that because every time they're like fucking what was that shit and we know what that shit was they said it the whole time half the time this time sure it might have been a slightly a slight bit more ambiguous but still pretty cut and dry i think she sure went above and beyond the call of duty even with lenigus crumbling down around her she chose to stay put with her people so that's why you lost your memories and sense of pain and why you were asleep for that whole time it was all the result of one agonizing decision Naori made to save your life. Yeah. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't even be alive today. I owe her everything. More than I could ever hope to repay. The astral energy is trying to, uh, what was it? Um, the Danon and the Renan astral energy are both in different ways giving that to them. No, 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 the, it, it's, it's literally being cast to them. They are seeing what I'm seeing, from what I understand at least. Um, it was, I think they specified like, it's the Dan and Will trying to lead them to something or something like that. But it's the astral energy, they're seeing it. <laughs> and then they get back to it and they're like, What'd they just talk about? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think they were saying this when they couldn't have said it lo any louder. They do the whole thing, put a little thing up to the fucking camera and, and show it to them. And then they're like, fuck, what did that say? Now that you know how she felt, how do you plan on honoring her wishes? She kept her promise. If the Renan people she fought so desperately to protect her at risk from a malevolent force, then I owe it to her to carry on her fight. Naori was the one who put that mask on me. And made me Iron Mask. She did it to prevent your we, soul from tearing itself apart. We knew that. 
Am I misremembering? I fucking swear to God we knew that. I... I thought this was already done. She knew you might lose your memories and sense of pain as a result. But more than anything, she wanted you to survive. And you did. We're on like a satellite or something. We are on a thing called Lenigus, which is uh, a place that was created by Renans and is used to sap the energy from the Danon planet. We need Paimon to repeat it all for them, we do. Yeah, not fucking voice. Oh shit. Uh... I guess this was modeled for something different. Oh, I see that down there. I saw that. <laughs> it's got my fucking name on it. What it do? Big money, big money, baby. That's not that big. That's fine. How you doing though, Elm? I hope you're good. All right, uh, now this thing that seems super cool to walk into. What's, uh, what's going on? <laughs> this place, we've seen this in one of Naori's memories. Right. This is where we, uh, we did the ceremony. Right, 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 right. I don't think that's what it is. After 300 years, this is where it was held. The spirit channeling ceremony. This is where the Renis Alma was. So this is the place where you and Naori... The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the Red Woman, it seems. I know it's difficult, Alfin. But there will be time to dwell on the past later. For now, we need to keep moving. Come on. <laughs> you guys are gross. <laughs> More memory scenes, I guess. Okay. Naori. What is this? Is it the work of Dana's will again? It's been a year since the ceremony. That day, I shut away inside of myself the power that caused Elfin to lose control. Since then, my visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. <sighs> yeah, that's what it's gonna say in the credits. <laughs> what we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never even told. As Sovereign, they linked Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. The Renis Alma was intended to control his power, lest anything should slip through its cracks. That day, as Maiden, my role was to temper his power. I was meant to guide it forth, and give shape to the strength inside of him. Linked to Lenigus itself? But then, everything that's been happening... But that power showed me a vision. A vision of oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alfin lashed out, his consciousness no longer his own. I did what I could. Using my abilities as the maiden, I tried to seal that power away inside of me. But it was too late. Lenigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed out. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. But I didn't know how.
Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Ulna seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the Renis Alma instead. That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. The Renis Alma was lost, and Alfin the Sovereign was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the Maiden, to buy the world what little time I could. The time needed for a new Renis Alma to be crafted, and for a new Sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse onto my descendants as well. Please, forgive me. That ship that she's talking about is what she sent me back, or sent Alfin back to Dana on. This is a, not really a ship type of thing. I, I Maybe it's a satellite type of thing, I, from my understanding better. Mm, no, they're from a different planet that crafted the place. And uh, yeah, her descendant is very much Shion. <laughs> I never meant to burden the future world with this threat, too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Imagine the International Space Station. <laughs> They're not aliens for other people that go up there. It's just we also then use that International Space Station to steal all the energy and kill everybody on Venus or something. <laughs> Wait, you can't just... I don't know about that. Naori. <sighs> that message just now, was it directly from Naori? Or was it the Danon voice speaking through her? The fuck? <laughs> what the uh fuck? What? These are the clothes that Naori and I wore during the ceremony three centuries ago. I don't like that for you. That so doesn't mean a whole lot of good things for her. Is the maiden's outfit? Uh-oh. That's right. Ah. Uh, These clothes are designed to resonate with the sovereign and maiden's abilities. I'm a little they worried about that. <laughs> and they appeared now because... Okay. Naori must have left them here for the new sovereign and maiden knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the thorns. I sure hope that's not the costume I replaced with the quiet outfit from Metal Gear Solid These 5. These are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. <laughs> You're so big. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Shion, thereby silencing her thorns. Is that what Naori's suggesting? It makes sense. After all, master cores and spirit vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. I love the stupid owl still around we for have all this. Made it in sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma, and we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. Shion. It's possible? You really think so? I do. We can rid you of your thorns and stop the world from falling to oblivion. It's a lot of optimism. However, the spirit channeling ceremony already failed once. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. It, yeah, two wives, I guess. Even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I know. Please, 
Oh. I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but I just can't seem to help it. Just hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril. It's selfish of me, I know, but but still. No, it isn't. You found hope to believe in. It'd be strange if you weren't over the moon about it. Rinwell's right. We can rid you of your curse and still save the world at the same time. It's not like that. She's not even an AI construct. Thank that wasn't you. even right. Aoi entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, it's up to us to prove that trust was well placed. She was able to magically uh, put clothing on people, though. Starting with a little game called Hunt the Renis Alma. Yeah, we've come all this way. Now we just need to search Lenegus and Rena until we find it. Yeah, we can protect the world and save Xion at the same time. I too shall lend my services. My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. <laughs> Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? I really hope they do. It could go a very different direction, though. How do you know it's me they're following? We're all in this together, Shion. You included. Now let's get moving, shall we? Last I heard, we had an apocalypse to stop. So we got some new threads. <laughs> Thank you, Naori. We got to hear from Naori a little bit. Lovely. Uh, that cutscene was not pre-rendered, from what I understand. So, so. sealed away the power. Yeah, so it's not the quiet outfit. That's good. She stopped my rampage and saved my life. Wonder what it was though. Then, now that power she'd sealed away was passed down to you. I'm so sorry, Shion. It's my fault that you're cursed. You're wrong. What happened to you was because of the ceremony and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion. You paid a heavy price for it and then fell asleep for 300 years. The reason you lost your memories is the reason for your curse. The, the thorns. thorns. It all leads back to them. But once they're gone, we can finally put an end to all this. When my thorns are gone, I know. The truth is, I think maybe I've always been dreaming about a life without my thorns. I skipped the thing by the touch accident. Of my family, or playing with my friends, holding hands with Rinwell, or giving Law a deserved smack. Yeah, he's a bitch. Everyone. Hate that guy. All the normal things that people do together. I really, always really hope you I get the chance. Them for myself, and finally know what they were like. Is it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting my hopes up. What if it doesn't work out in the end? And that's not going to happen. I really hope I'm not. Here to make sure it won't. Really hope. Forget okay. Or destiny or anything else. We're going to live a normal life. It really there feels like it's jinxing it, man. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. It really You're does. Right. It's such a strange feeling. I know. That we've still got plenty of fighting up ahead and it's for my sake so i can live you're worth fighting for i believe you good i'll keep on fighting for as long as it takes until our future is finally in our hands uh, i haven't looked at this in a while uh, so the new one was right here. Uh, that might be pretty good. I don't know if it even works. Which is not active, but whatever. Um, all the other ones are insignificant for now, so forget all of that junk. Um, everything else, I might as well just wait a little bit. You know, let's just not bother. You might have something, I guess. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, neat. Uh, what is that? Oh, I just put it on, got it. Cool. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Man, did I really never pick up that?
Did I never get it? There, there's the 2B one. Yeah, I know. I guess I never got it. I wonder what it was. Did I get hers? Nope. I have no clue what hers was. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, okay. Sounds like this Naori chick had quite the big heart. Her position demanded nothing less. From the sound of things, she didn't focus on differences. Least of all those between Renans and Danans. Yeah. It was Naori who first showed me that such a thing was even possible. And then she saved my life by sending me back home to Dana. Not only that, but she willingly stayed behind on Lenigus for the sake of her people. It sounds like she was quite the hero, all right. It's as if walls meant nothing to her. The ones separating the Renans from the Danans, or herself from others. She lived in she the woods. No for them. Zero walls, no roofs. Anything to break down in the first place, huh? You inherited that legacy. Her wish for the world. Don't I know it? She's kind of like a lodestar guiding our way. Showing us what we can aspire to. Don't know what that is. Alright. Okay, so... Alrighty, is there anything in this area to look at at all? I don't think so. Um, don't seem that way. Oh boy! That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? I can't help but notice that it After didn't refill my HP here, or magic. Damn well better be. We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Shit. <laughs> Go for it, Alpha. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. It better restock me or else I'm smoked and everybody's gonna get insta hit. <laughs> we'll uh have to hope. We'll have to hope. This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. I sure hope not. I didn't go get more healing either. <laughs> Ooh, uh... I'm gonna roll it, it's gonna be like level 80. Oh yeah! There it is! Yeah! We're a long way from the residential quarters now. It looks completely different. No, we're gonna fuck yeah, that red lady right. up. Actually, this place, it reminds me more of being back inside the wedge. Except the Dan and Astral Energy feels even stronger here. In a portion of the city reserved purely for the Renan Sovereign. Ooh. Maybe he just has strange tastes? Ooh. It's gonna this be a bad fight, like I'm sure. For quite some time now. It's gonna be out of forever. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would be talking from centuries ago, <sighs> or perhaps even further back. Still, this isn't the sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. So what is it then? Hold up, decadence? Artistic circles? It's nerd shit. When a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. I'd be happy to illuminate you further. That depends. Does it involve you buying me lunch? The void that art fills Sick of this in guy. the stomach. It's the soul. In that case, I'll let you know the next time my soul starts to rumble. Now all we need wow. is something to fill up the void inside your head. Shut up! I really wish none of that happened during this. <laughs> yeah. Get that in me. Okay. This is going to be oh so bad for me. <laughs> I can already see me getting fucked up by this. Bullrun. He really was still alive. And there's the Renis Alma. Then is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait though. Something doesn't seem right here. <laughs> Somehow it seems like he isn't doing this voluntarily. <laughs> 
forced. It almost looks like he's being forced to do this. Who could say? How does this happen? Who knows? How the fuck this guy? To a mere cog in the machine. Oh shit, this fucking fight sucked the first hey, time. Over there. Fuck. Isn't that the maiden's crest? Can it be that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the maiden? It looks like it's still running, but are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegus's transformation. And the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. Yeah, I'm good. Just had to check. It's but hot. What purpose? We good. What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Regardless, uh. we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. That said, we should retrieve the Renis Alma. Because right now, we need that most of all. He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Not the time, Law. <laughs> the Red Woman! She's still so wearing we red? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait! What? Oh, shit. They all have the same face? How is that even possible? <laughs> what is this? Looks so fucking weird. <laughs> The true rulers of Rena. All right. They're not feeling particularly Fuck. Talkative. Fucking you shit. All right, baby. Come on. What kinds of garbage do I even have on me? Let me go see. I have not looked in a minute. Are any of these things that are things I should put into me at all? Uh. No, for some reason I thought some of these were buffs. They're not. Let's stop them before this gets out of hand. Ow. Well, so far they don't really do a lot of crazy shit. Let's hope it goes well. Nine lemon gel. Yeah, here's hoping it's enough. We'll have to see. Ow! Ow, fucker! Oh boy! Ow, oh, fucker! <laughs> you bitch! Ow! Stop it! I get the impression that they probably just make a ton of them. Why am I already dead? Oh my god. I guess I could just spam this. <laughs> that might have been more sensible. And on top of that, I think it also is technically higher than their attack can go. So I think it isn't even a bad idea. I think it actually makes sense to do that. Oh my god. Ow, fucker. Dude, look how much health they still fucking have. Good lord. Yeah! What was that noise? That was a really loud and scary noise. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! What happened? What happened? Damn it! <laughs> Yo, what up? I'm back. Everything's fine. Ow. Oh boy! Oh god! Please don't dash into that and I'll be fine. Oh my god. Whew! Missed, I think. 
What do you mean? I would like that health, please. Although I don't really need it. Ow. Okay, maybe now I do. Fuck you! Damn it! Of course, Law's already nearly dead. Hate that asshole. Not again, that noise is scary. Okay, don't, don't stand in the way this time. Alright. Okay, sorry I didn't die. That's big. Oh my god. Ooh. That, okay, that does knock them a little bit. Not much, though. I think this is fine. I don't think they actually can hit me like this. Or, well, that one that I was focused on, at least. Ow. Oh my god. Ah! Yeah, that was, yeah, that was my own fault. Does it land? Uh, I think it did? I'm not so sure. I think it did, though. Not again! Okay. That's not fair. Oh! Oh! You bitches! Why did you go where you went? What was your thought process other than shit? God damn you. Uh... Let me, uh, do a little bit of that, and then also do a little bit of getting him off the fucking field with that one, I guess. Oh, wait, I should have let, uh, you get revived first, huh? Fine. I'll bring you back from nice. Really wanted to do that from afar, but instead it had to get all close up. Ow. Shion, I really need you to not die. Please, God, don't die. <laughs> I also need me to not die. Please, God, don't me die. Maybe more important, slightly. Okay. Oh, I nailed it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dang it. Ooh, Jesus. Doing relatively good, though? Alright. Sadly, they're all, uh, their health is linked. I hate that you can't do anything about this. Like, I can't direct them to not run straight into their attack. They just, they just run into the attack, and that's it. I hate that. Very annoying. Don't bother. Leave him in the fucking dirt, please, and thank you. Ow. Jesus. Oh my god. Ah. Tag a couple. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Still looking good. Still looking good. Ooh. Jesus, there's a lot going on in there. Tag a couple. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Fuck. Now don't stand in the way. Just don't stand in the way. Oh, it's me. Just don't stand in the way. Don't stand there. Okay. That's big. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Oh boy. Okay, now that they're all linked up, this is like much easier. I think I'm hitting them all together perfectly right now. I'm also getting hit a lot more, but still. Oh my 
Okay, cool. Look how close! Come on! Fuck you, red lady! Fuck you! Come on! Just keep wailing on her! Just keep beating her ass! Ow! Just keep beating her ass! Alright, one more run of this. Oh, Jesus! Okay. That one was on me. That one was on me. I accept that. That one was all me. Let's go ahead and pick you up. I, uh, I need to pick up. What else would like to be picked up myself? I'm back! <laughs> Bam! I'm, I'm just on the ground. <laughs> Yay! Good job, team. <laughs> Face death. Surrender. Fighting is useless now. Oh you boy. Think it's really over. Nope. Sure don't. Astral energy. Watch out! They've got something up their sleeve. <laughs> what? It's self-destructed. Helfen. I'm okay. Just a little roughed up. You had me worried there. I don't imagine that I'm okay, right? There's no fucking way I'm okay. Who said you could touch that? <laughs> Fuck. Fucking shit. Damn it. He's awake! Hmm. I should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was built for me, after all. We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Even after all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down. Sovereign or not, you will for that. <laughs> You're obviously bluffing. You can't even move right now. Really, is that what you think? Should've Did just, you really we should have taken that thing. Petty device could hold me. So he was just napping Are in that? What do you mean? It's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alf, who happens to be another sovereign? Idle prattle. I proved my worth and the sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? We already know the title of sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with a designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. And every one of them besides me... died. All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Then there were the records we found in the library, for you and Volron. They were locked 300 years apart. And yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. Then you mean... Boron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... A slave from Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right, Volron? I guess we didn't know that. So I posed as a assumed caused all that suffering to his own people. I just assumed you? that was the case. I kind of didn't life. realize. Why would you inflict that upon others? That that didn't get stated. Renan and Dan are meaningless distinctions. Me and everyone else. That is all that matters. I will stand above all others and take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. No. Oh. <sighs> A 
red woman. Another one? Give your master back on Rena this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Don't do it! Thank God I don't have to fucking fight his ass. Thank God. Get me out of here. Fuck this place. <laughs> this whole cutscene, I'm still dead on the ground, face down. I definitely thought she was just going to turn around and stay and not leave for whatever reason. Context of where we were at didn't align with that. Okay, I thought he fucking missed. <laughs> okay. Just frozen in that face. I feel like we didn't need that angle to hold that long. So uh, he's either okay? the bad killed yeah. him or he's unkillable. He'll be fine. And uh Is Volron, have we finally seen the last of him? He's a part we of the DLC? Help. Maybe? I guess. Those red women. What the heck was their deal? And yeah, I didn't think she was going to make Maybe it. Maybe the ones behind all I this. I did not. I thought it was very the out of reach. The ones who put those soldiers in Faria in a trance? What? Those brainless things? <sighs> either way, They've done a runner with the Renesalma. Damn it, that's the second time now. Whatever's stolen from us, we'll steal it back. The future's ours to protect. And right now, those things are what's standing in our way. We can head them off at Rena. Did you say Rena? Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the Motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not human. That's for sure. So this thing over on Rena, that's what's really behind all this, huh? They have the Rena Salma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. I've really expected this we're agreed. section head back to, the starship. to be where it concluded. I did not think that there'd but be seriously, more. Seriously, I was not expecting Voron to actually be here. He huh. seemed to care not one whit about Frenin's or Danon's. Yeah, huh. and not in a good way like with us. All right, I need to go to the washroom. Should I pause? I don't want to break anything. I won't pause. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs>
I didn't see that coming about Volron. As for those red women, to think they were monsters all along. Tell me about it. <sighs> One minute they look perfectly human. Next thing you know, they're not actually human at all. They definitely weren't Renan or Danon. I'm not even sure language would get through to them. So what were they then? <laughs> human Zugal hybrids? Is the most terrifying thing anyone said all day. <laughs> How about you, Shion? Dorley? You ever seen anything like that before? No, never. However, if they're the same as the <sighs> red woman we've seen with Volron, I think it's safe for us to assume they understand our language at the very least. I had just so much I wanted to ask them. About Rena and Shion's thorns. Unfortunately, they blew themselves up before we got the chance. Why would they do such a thing, though? To take us with them? Or in order to keep something hidden? Both sound plausible to my ears. They took off with the Renis Alma too, remember? Yeah, they did. And the next time we meet them, we're going to make sure they tell us everything they know. Okay. So. Might be more than I thought. Might be more than I thought. Might it want me just to teleport away? What is it looking for? Okay, I know. I cannot. Teleport away. Uh. Understood. I wonder if someone's gonna cut me off. Just check. You know, it's already there. Might as well check. Alright. Uh. Uh, some knickknack I already gotten. Couldn't really remember all that well. Ugh. So strange that it has you literally just run all the way back. <laughs> just feels a little odd as all. Yo, what up? Hell yeah. Really wish I hadn't wasted uh, that bit of magic. I thought there'd be more in there though. I did. I thought there'd be more. I guess I'm a fool. I guess all the anal are gonna be dead. Okay, no they're not. Are you fucking kidding me? How are, th fuck off. Can I just flee? What happens if I do flee? Does it put me out before I, no, they're just gone. Okay, well then yeah, sure. <laughs> Could go farm that again, but I mean, why Why bother? I'm trying to just get to the end here. Random ass nonsense enemies don't need to be fucked with. See you later. Fuck you. I'm holding the middle finger up as I run. Don't you get me. Don't you dare get me. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Why are there so many in here? Nailed it. Fucked on. What a do, juked. Check that shit out. I had the moves. <laughs> He ain't getting me. Hell yeah. You like that shit? Not even fucking close. <laughs> what the? When did it get pitch dark all of a sudden? Pitch well, dark. Allowed. Think it has something to do with the explosion back in the Forbidden Zone? Is that the phrase? Dough? You two. Faria, Avakir. Thank goodness you're safe. Avakir filled me in about everything. About how I ambushed you all. She doesn't remember a thing. So she really was being controlled. He told me about Tarnigan too. Is it true? What difference does it make? What's done is done. Stop 
casting me off just for one. Faria, not now. It can wait. Dohalim, Lenegus is in grave peril. So I can see. It's the city's core reactor. It's damaged. Some of the basic systems we've managed to keep online, but complete restoration still a way off. Guys, thirsty over there. Hey, Votion, hope you had fun. Uh, hey, Toxicity, how you doing? I'm good, just playing this uh, Tales of game. First one I ever played, and I'm nearing the end, I think. You're an elite technician, though. You can fix it, right? If so, then what's the problem? Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. Until now, whenever something like this happened, the Sovereign would issue a decree. But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer, and we run the risk of riots breaking out before we can get things back up and running. Forget None of these little idiots know how to fuck in. Hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know something I don't? Suffice it to say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. It's probably not gonna like hearing that. If he ever even existed, which is looking doubtful at this stage. Are you out of your mind? Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy, they'd... There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegus from spiraling out of control. We need to stop that riot. But how do we do that? Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the peace, we just need to put people's minds at ease. This is really at not ease. what I... Like by letting them hear directly from someone they trust. That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in Lenegus right now? Lenegus wouldn't have a next in line. After all, you said the Sovereign rules over everyone directly, right? Hmm. Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lord. And the only one left is... Ah. Very well, then. Avakir. You mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? This feels like the type of thing that we shouldn't be fucking... Uh, why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? ...fixated on Please, that much. Won't somebody explain what's going on? I don't know. Is it over? What's going to happen to all of us? Don't tell me why. I'm probably not gonna buy it. I don't want to waste the money. That's Ghost of Tsushima money right there. Which I definitely need to get. Crown contest. Shouldn't he? Why isn't the sovereign talking to us? The sovereign is seeing to other matters right now. In my capacity as lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid, as people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to put your fears to rest. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter, and things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned, perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Lanagus, not the Lords and Sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. This is them... trying to find a middle ground. I feel like it'd be pretty tough for him to pop in and be like, yo, there's no sovereign. Sorry, guys, you're all fucked. <laughs> uh, figure it out for yourselves. I gotta go figure out some other shit. See you guys later. And then come back to everybody dead after having killed all the <laughs> killed one another. That old fuck first. If we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, if we put our hearts and minds together and stand as one, I am confident we will find new hope. I would be honored to stand with you. Not as a person of loftier rank, but as another human being among men. I hope that you'll lend me your strength, for if we can persevere as one... We're I kind of on a time crunch. A bright tomorrow awaits. So who the fuck actually- so we just- we just had that one guy and he just had enough people to help put the whole thing together and now it just timed out perfectly. Seems strange. Your speech seems to have done the trick. Really seems like, like this whole part wasn't necessary. After all. But whatever. I only pray the relief will tide the city over for the time being. There must be a what lot more. What you said earlier. There must be. About the sovereign possibly not even existing. Fuck. 
Was it true? It's still too premature to say with any certainty, but I believe so. This whole time, this world we've been fed was a lie, built on nothing but falsehoods. But it can't all have been... I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone, what they did to Faria, it's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about hierarchy, Avakir? Authority? The very foundations of Renan's society? How can we live without someone to guide us? I'd say we found someone capable of doing just that, wouldn't you? See, now it starts to be like, uh, you, oh, you now we're not serious. giving everything to them. <laughs> I have business Maybe. I must take care of first. But once everything <laughs> is over, I shall return. But not as your sovereign, <laughs> nor as a leader, the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. Oh, no. But... How else do you propose to rule? <laughs> I did I'm see some sure deep yet. pits in the All area, so. But here in Lenigus, a new dawn is on the verge of breaking. One in which people won't be judged by birthright or on the power of their astral arts. Things like, oh, I don't know, musical talent, for example. Now kill anyone who can't when play I a fucking uh, 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 a D major. I said you were no different. If you can't hit that when note, you're wrong. fucking done. Truth is. You were always different. <laughs> I feel like, like maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. I don't know notes. To see a future. <laughs> what? <laughs> you go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenigus till you get back. Thank you. I guess you're not going to make it to Menencia for the foreseeable future, huh? Indeed. Forgive me. The people of Elda Menencia can look after themselves just fine. It's the ones here on Lenigus who need someone to guide them. Besides, with you leading the people here, it'll help spread the idea of coexistence beyond Menencia's borders that much faster. Are we Sounds like you're losing? in it for the long haul. How could I not be after the second chance that I've been granted? From this day forth, I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants of this world. I think Though the memories of the departed shall remain forever in my heart. I think Remember, he said he was going to continue with us first and then come me. back, but it doesn't sound like True that enough. right now. Whatever would I do without you, Kisara? With or without her, I suspect you're going to have your hands full when the time comes. We should be heading back to the ship. Business on Rena awaits. Weird. Weird. Do -do 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 and I have no anything for anything else. Okay, so... Are any of these 3 AG things? I don't think so. I'll buy this just to fill it up, because I didn't realize I was that close to that. Boom! Uh... Why the fuck are there still so many of these left? Wait, what? Ah, oh, they're literally. Wait, what? Ah! Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, she has even more! <laughs> oh! oh! I could have been fucking. Oh! There's probably so much I'm missing! Oh, man! Fuck! Well, that was stupid. I didn't want to do that. All lights. Shit, is that because I didn't kill each enemy in the fucking wedge, but I, I skipped like three of them? Are you fucking kidding? Is that what the lights are? I don't remember what that is. Uh, I fucking just didn't remember about that. I, I could make a chicken. Fuck, god damn. Uh, uh, fucking fuck. Uh. I'm angry. I'm angry. Fuck you. I'll show you impatience. 
as I just stand angry. <laughs> God damn it. God fucking damn it. Fucking, fucking, fuck, son of a bitch. I'm so fucking frustrated. Why would that be done that way? Ooh, I'm angry. Ooh, I'm angry. All right, I filled up those two things. Hell yeah, that's big. Uh, fuck, this is a hungry fucker one for some reason. It's uh, real, real hefty. That's okay. Buy that one, I guess. I don't know. And then, uh, fucking, oh. Do, 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 do. I haven't even met 80% of the fucking uh, owls. How? How many have I found? The people of can God rest easy. Damn it. In one sense, when all is said and done, Perhaps I have been a slave this whole time, too. You, a Renan lord. How do you figure that exactly? I was complicit in the Renan system, bound by its values, resigned to being swept along without the Renan. <laughs> I do like what he's taught. I get what he's trying to say, but it really does come off a bit like I've been oppressed as well as, as he's talking to like some someone who is of a horribly oppressed group because it's literally what he's doing right now. <laughs> It seems like the weirdest thing to relate, but uh, I, I guess, you know, whatever. <laughs> Resolved to take a stand. And when I realized the severity of my mistake, all I longed for was punishment. A lord. And yet my first instinct was to place my fate in the hands of others. Weird. I think I can relate. Weird. I Ugh. couldn't stand watching my people bow and scrape their way through life, but I didn't know what else I could do about it either. So... On the topic of the DLC, as I'm nearing the end, I think, it, it kind of does give me impressions that it, there might be more than I thought. I don't fucking know. Whatever the case, though. Um, 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 ah, uh, the DLC. I heard it was shit. I don't particularly want to go into it knowing it's kind of shit. Um, and, uh, I sort of don't care to spend, like, 40 bucks, 50 bucks or something like that on it. Um, I'd rather just go to a new game. But if the story is of interest enough, I wonder, I will, I, I'll pay for that. If the story is of interest enough, maybe it makes sense to be like, to watch, uh, uh hell yeah, to watch the cutscene, like movie cut of the DLC or something maybe. I don't know. That could be an interesting stream one time, depending on how long it is. Um, I assume probably pretty long, though. Um, so maybe not. Maybe not. It also depends on what the, the DLC actually pertains to. I I think it said it, it was supposed to... Con it's a continuation rather than a conclusion on the story of the game main game. I tried not to look into it because I didn't want to have anything spoiled for myself or anything like that. Um, but yeah. I don't intend on buying it, because again, I don't want to spend that much money on it. Um, and I want to get Ghost of Tsushima and play that instead. Or something else. Just not more of this. Want to move to the next thing. Um, but yeah, that is in the mind and looming a tad. The ability to think for yourself and be your own master. That's what separates a slave from a free person. At least, that's what Law's dad Zephyr used to say. Zephyr taught me how to fight. But in doing God, so, I miss him. Also taught me how to live. If only he was in the team now. Along the way. So he just keeps side-eyeing Law. Free of regret. Why? That's the road of freedom. Or, to put it another way, so long as his heart is compromised, even the loftiest of kings is no freer than a slave. This Zephyr character sounds like he was a wise man indeed. I only wish I could have met him. There's just... So much I wish I could ask him, especially now. I wonder, have I been correctly carrying on the torch that he passed to me? All of this is happening while Law is just fucking wiping away tears. How long have you known? Known what? About the darkness I carry inside me. You seem to have been aware of it for quite some time now. Why ask me now? What does it matter? But, yes. I have. I've pretty much known that something was gnawing at you ever since we left Menencia. So basically since the very start of our journey then. Just when I thought I couldn't feel more ashamed. Leave the past where it belongs. We have no need for it now. If my brother could see you, he'd be proud. <laughs> not as proud as he would be of his sister. Well then, just as well it's not a competition, huh? Fuck! 
<sighs> Kisara? Anyone at home in there? <laughs> Sorry. Did I look distracted? Among other things. To be entirely honest, I couldn't tell whether you were smiling or frowning. You were thinking about Dohalim, weren't you? <laughs> that obvious, huh? I was just thinking how good it is to see him moving forward at last. It was always so infuriating, knowing how capable he could be if he just put his mind to it. A prisoner trapped in a cage of his own self-doubt. But now, he's finally beginning to spread his wings. Fucking horn dog, dude. I'm happy for him. So, then why do you look so sad? Oh, I don't know if I'd say sad. There's a bitter sweetness to it, I guess. It's good and strange, knowing that he won't be needing me anymore. It probably sounds weird, doesn't it? I have this massive worry off my mind. I should be jumping up and down for joy. Must be that maternal instinct of yours at work. Rinwell's right. You're like a mother bird, finally letting go as her child takes his first shaking and nervous flight from the nest. A pretty big child. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. What a dick. I wouldn't like to see Dohalim's face if he heard you say that. All this has made me realize I can't allow myself to become a prisoner of my own making like he was. If Dohalim can forge his own path ahead, then I can too. I won't be left behind. I would have assumed that it'd be fine for her to just, like, hang out with him. I, that didn't seem outlandish. That felt fine. I don't know. One thing I will do quick, fast. Um... Where the fuck was it? Why is this done this way? Uh, roasted chicken. How the fuck do I make a roasted chicken? Alright, you fuck. Tell me how to make chicken. How do I do it? Roasted chicken. Boom! Give me that shit. Give me that. This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. Hey, what's the smoke? Is it an enemy attack? Seriously, it's making my eyes and throat burn. It's not the best time to be it's doing probably this. Probably some sort of gas. Try not to breathe it in as much as you can manage. Gas? Those cowards! Isn't this just cooking smoke? What kind of food makes your throat burn so bad just from the smoke? I believe Alfin is. They're trying to gas Alfin? What? Those sick bastards! I won't let them get away with this! Calm yourself. I was meant to do this a long time ago. I'm simply trying to say that Alfin is the one cooking. Oh? Hmm. Maybe I should throw in some more spices just for that extra kick. I don't think anyone's gonna yeah. make or gonna eat his food. I'll turn up the heat while I'm at it too. <sighs> oh crap! The spices burned. Uh, 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 hey, Alfin, what, uh, what are you doing over there? Oh, Shion, perfect timing. I actually just finished roasting up a chicken. Call everybody over so we can eat together. I used a ton of spices, so it's got a good punch to it. Might have overcooked it a little, but it should still taste good. I'm starting to understand why your food always tastes so damn spicy now. Hasn't anyone told him that it is actually possible to have too much of a good thing? If that's the taste he truly wants, far be it from me to contradict. His cuisine is a rather delicate repast. Now, was this, is this worth it? What am I going to get after having cooked this chicken and burnt the shit out of it? All right, I made it to chicken. I, when sent flying, I can now recover. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Uh, the other shit. Oh, <laughs> that's big. Holy shit. That's massive. Atonement edge. Can I make that shit? Let's see what we got. Uh, Forg. For an atonement, what the fuck? I what? How do I get that? Can I buy? Uh, do you do you sell mega fauna? Yada yada yada. Dang it! Dude, this might be that outfit I was talking about for Shion. Maybe I'm not so sure. I don't want to gamble on it though. I don't want it anyway. Uh, okay. Well, I can't. Shit. Uh, 
They're all good. Everyone's great. They're all great. How much fucking further do I have to fucking run? You fucking kidding me? Fucking son of a bitch. God damn it. What was the bonus I even got for the fucking chicken thing? I don't remember. <sighs> it surely said some bullshit, but I wasn't paying enough attention. It was like dark something. The cooking effect 15%, that was a bonus that you get for cooking it with a certain person, I believe. I believe. <laughs> Fuck this place, I'm out of here. Really could have just teleported here, but that's fine. Alrighty. What do we got, baby? What do we got? Ugh. Oh, shit. I should have bought more I fucking... I answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. I should have bought the magic regening thing. And now we have more problems to fix, too. Fuck. Like figuring out how to reform Lenigus. Damn it. Fucking fuck. That can wait for now. Damn it. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Fuck, it was that one. Damn it. Yeah, Dark Mark. Yeah. That's what that fucking was. Son of a bitch. The home world. Damn it. All the answers we've been looking for are on our planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renaissance. Votion, did, uh, did Jordan tell you when he'd want to play? Are we prepared to finally find them? So, what do we do first when we get there? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. Fuck! There's more. There's it's a lot more dicking around to do. The first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should... <laughs> What? Eyes? <laughs> Fuck. So damn. The hell just happened. Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. What's that? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. That's bad, right? Quite bad. We've lost control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone, look there!
Was I right? Is this what's left of Rena? Or maybe not. fuck is going on? <laughs> the fuck is happening. A flower blooming out of Reda? <laughs> but that flower looks like it's absorbing all of the sickness energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. There may not be people left. Been its true purpose all along. By this point? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it. Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The Flower of Oblivion. With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Aligns with the is Thorn the thing, by the way. Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it laid dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here floating around? For how long? <sighs> I don't believe this. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Look, calm down. You're not the only one who's worried here. Little bitch, dude. Hate this guy. Right. Sorry. Fucking asshole. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Now what? The starship, it... It's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. We have this beeping the whole time. <laughs> I do have a bunch more chicken on me. I think I made like 50 of them in a in a state of I don't care what I'm uh, what I'm doing with the farm. Do whatever. And I just made a bunch of chicken. <laughs> so I could go at it for a while. I have plenty more slaughtered chicken in my pocket that I could just keep chucking on that grill. <laughs> okay. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those red women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? Is it going to be a somehow alive Neori stall or something? So that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. Okay. This is going to be a lot of dialogue and probably a long time. I didn't tell you to do that, but it works out well. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I am going to pause here because apparently we're playing CS now because someone didn't understand what I was asking. <laughs> but I did want to pause to be preemptive because I kind of foresaw this happening. And I, yep, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and uh, uh, because this is probably going to be a long time. All right. Until the next one.
Motion fucked it up. We will play more soon. Uh, that was a good hour and 40 session. Not bad. Ooh, baby. Making progress. Making fucking progress. All right. Until the next one. Good stuff. Part 17, I think. Done. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Till the next one. Probably tomorrow. <laughs>